Hello, so today I wanted to just do a quick overview of different kinds of card reading or cardomancy. Most people, when they are first getting into it, they will learn tarot cards. Tarot cards are the precursor to today's poker cards. Uh, they consist of 78 cards, <coughs> excuse me, and like some of the stuff that is common to the two decks are we have face cards although in a tarot deck there are four four face cards instead of three so this is like the king of swords which is spades in a poker deck here is a queen of cups which are hearts in a poker deck this is the knight of coins which would translate to a jack of diamonds in a tarot deck and this is the valet of batons or stabs and that is clubs in a poker deck and we do not have valets or pages this is often called a page in other tarot decks <coughs> so this card gets lost in poker style decks <coughs> another card that we do have that's not normally used in a poker deck is what we call the Fool in Tarot. That is the Joker card. and But it is used all the time in Tarot. And just to give a glimpse of the different style of the suit, there's like an Eight of Stabs, which would be clubs. That is the Ace of Coins, which would be Diamonds. A Five of Swords, which is Spades. And there's a Six of Cups, which would be Hearts. So besides your normal cards that go from Ace to Ten and the Four face cards in tarot we also have what are called trumps um, and in most fortune telling circles they would call these cards that are the lower cards minor arcana and the trump cards are called major arcana uh, for instance we have a card that represents the sun a card that represents the devil Here's a card that represents a chariot. And they all have various different meanings. And there's 22 of these trumps all together. So that's how you get your 78 cards. So you have your 52 base cards, plus the extra face card for each suit. That takes you to 56, plus 22 major cards, or triumphs, or trumps, that takes you to 78. Now once people get wind that you are a card reader you might encounter someone then just handing you a deck of poker cards and asking you to read their cards. This can be done once you become quite familiar with uh, tarot. You can just act like it is a tarot deck minus the trump cards so you can use the joker as your except for the joker you can actually can use that as a as the fool card and again so here's a king a queen and a jack you lose the page so you only have the three face cards to work with but then you still have your same four suits, although they have a different name. So you have the seven of clubs, eight of diamonds, five of spades, and there's an ace of hearts. These would be staves, coins, swords, and cups in a tarot deck. So you can read them that way, as if this was the seven of staves, <coughs> the eight of coins, a five of swords and the ace of cups. So besides poker decks, a couple of other decks that you may run into depending on, a lot of it is based on ethnicity. 
or where the person's heritage is from um, you may get or find Sabia, Sabia cards or Sabella cards I'm not really sure how you pronounce it these herald from Italy for the most part they are based on a full poker deck of cards there's 52 cards in one of these decks uh, but it's not the cards that matter so much they do include them just for reference but you do have to learn the various what the various images mean on these cards so in a way it's a lot like a completely different system so like <coughs> the ace of spades does not mean death in this particular deck it's the nine of spades that symbolizes death so it's a very different system but it's one that you may run into especially if uh, you're in a highly an area that's highly influenced w with Italian culture <coughs> excuse me now another deck you may run into that's also based on a full tarot deck or not tarot a full poker deck of 52 cards it's a very American deck and it was very popular it came out in the 70s originally I believe and it's called the gypsy witch now it's also very different it doesn't really match any of the other divination systems out there that are based on cards it does have all of the imagery of a which I'm gonna get to later it's called um, a Lenormand those decks only have 36 cards in them uh, but the problem is these cards do not translate directly to a Leonard Mound deck because the inserts don't match <laughs> between the two and some and this since this is a 52 card deck instead of a 36 card deck uh, there's a lot of extra cards that are in here as well so but it is an interesting deck and a lot of people picked it up uh, mainly around Halloween time because it's got such great uh, backs on it and it has a really nice Halloween themed box so you may at parties and stuff this deck may get thrown around quite a lot and so just expect to find that oh, quite a lot and some people really do like it once they get used to using it now I talked about Lenormand and what that is is mainly a French influence deck the original story actually hails from Germany, but it got popular, popularized in French culture. Now again, this is not a full deck, 52 card deck. This is a deck that's called a piquette, where they've removed the twos through the sixes. So the start of the suit is seven or eight and an ace. They still have the aces. So you get 36 cards out of this deck. And again, it's a completely different system. It's where you have to know, it's more important to know the image than the face card or the old poker card insert. And although if you do learn these cards and you learn both the systems, then you can trim down a poker deck down to a Lenormand deck and do a Lenormand reading with the standard poker cards, which is nice. Now one more type of oracle deck that you'll see quite often that and there's several different versions of it it's also a subset of a poker deck and it's where they have also removed besides the two to the six two through six cards they've removed the seven cards as well so that takes you down to a 32 card deck now this one is called a Sibylla Italiana or an Italian Sibylla deck Sibylla deck it's not the same as the 52 card Sibylla. This one is a little more rare. I have not ever encountered anyone having this particular deck or using it, but I do hear that it is another one of those decks that's very popular in areas that are heavily influenced by Italian culture. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, that is all I had for today's review of the different style decks and decks that are based off of poker cards, which are, in fact, based off of tarot cards. So, 
I hope you enjoyed that and it gives you an idea of how many different types of Oracle systems there are out there that are based on standard tarot and poker decks. Thanks for watching.